ship is this, anyway? It's the kind of ship, Jim. What do you mean, kindness ship? It's more like Noah's Ark to me. Jim, this is our campaign ship for Be Kind to Humans Week. Be Kind to Humans Week? Yeah, you humans set aside one week of the year as, uh, be kind to animals week, so... Us animals are setting aside a week to be kind to humans. But uh, we ran into some uh, stormy weather. Uh, you want to help us get animals to support Be Kind to Humans Week, Jim? What could I do? You could sing our song. Be kind to people, be kind to people. Don't treat them the way they treat you. Be mindful people, we're kind to people, and faithful, and loving, and true. Dumb animals discovered, though you human fuss, that underneath you people are as dumb as us. So kind to people, you'll find that people still always will be kind to you. Be kind to people. Be kind to people. Don't treat them the way they treat you. Be mindful people. We're kind to people. And faithful and loving and true. Dumb animals discovered, though you human fuss, that underneath you people are as dumb as us. So kind to people, you'll find that people still always won't be kind to you. I mean a tyrannos. Still always won't be kind to you. The hunting season. Those were just sound effects. You see, we're having Let's Be Kind to Humans Week so that boys and girls will be kind to animals. Well, what do you mean? Most boys and girls love animals too much to be deliberately unkind to them. Take little Barbara Stankowitz, for example. She takes such good care of her parakeet that 
Well, that parakeet's like one of the family. Yeah, but what about that Smith boy? The uh, Dover? Yeah, Dover Smith. They're talking about a friend of mine who likes to shoot birds and animals with his air rifle. Now, Dover never figured he was doing anything out of the way. Well, it seemed like good fun to him. He, he takes a handful of BBs, like this. Then pour them into the magazine of his air rifle or BB gun. Then, Dover lived on his dad's farm, so he was out of doors a lot. He liked shooting crows. Oh well, crows were pests to farmers anyway. Missed. There's something. One of his pigeons. What's he doing out of his coop? Dover wondered if he should. Just, just for practice. Just to tickle the trigger. Perfect aim. Well, uh, not quite so perfect. The pigeon wasn't dead. The BB had just grazed his head. So Dover decided to put the pigeon out of his misery. Nothing stopped him. Once he killed that pigeon, nothing in the world that he could do would bring that pigeon back to life. Dover didn't think of himself as a boy who was unkind to animals, but he was. He was wasteful and cruel. You see, the animals and birds were put here for man's work, for his food, for pleasure and companionship and also for what the, the experts of nature call the balance of nature. See, things have a way of going wrong when we misuse God's creatures. A little boy with a BB gun who shoots a female robin may leave a whole nest of baby robins without a mother. And uh, we need the robins because they eat a lot of insects that are harmful to man. Did you take that boo-boo gun away from Dover? Reggie, you mean that bee-boo gun? That air rifle. That's it. That bear rifle away from him. I didn't have to. His cousin Olive did that for him. Who's cousin Olive? Well, she's a city girl. She'd never visited the country in all her life till her parents asked Dover to show her around the farm. <gasps> sort of a barnyard tour, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, Dover met her at the train station one Sunday with uh, the horse and buggy. And then he drove her to the farm. Like most boys and girls, she loved the out of doors. She loves the smell of flowers, the songs of the wild birds, the crowing of a rooster. She loves these things, but she can't see them. Olive is blind. These are the eyes which Olive uses to explore God's creation. These eyes belong to Scout, her guide dog. Some lamb chops? Dover asked Olive. Olive remembered that Jesus had called himself the Good Shepherd. And as a good shepherd cares for his sheep, even at the risk of danger and death, so Jesus cares for us. So much that he gave his life for us. But to Dover, it was still lamb chops. This is a donkey. Her name is Jenny. Olive told Dover that in the Bible stories, it tells how Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey. Was the donkey's name Jenny? Uh-uh. Then what's Jenny got to do with the donkey Jesus rode on? Silly. They're relatives. You know, it's funny. What's funny? Well, Dover, God lets you take care of all these birds and animals for him, and God lets an animal take care of me. Walking 
recognized over. Just chickens. Olive had never heard chickens before. Olive was worried. What's ever frightening those poor chickens? Chase it away. Chase it away, Dover. Dover? Dover, you threw them away. Let's go, Scout. And God said, let the birds fly above the earth. And God made the beasts of the earth, and the cattle, and everything that creeps upon the ground. And God saw that it was good. Rays of light can enter anywhere, spreading happiness we all can share. Heaven's glow of light right at the start can grow to fill your heart. It's light time, light time, the right On the highways and byways of life, many are weary and sad. They are seeking something that the world cannot give them. Many voices are clamoring for their attention. But above the din and tumult of this world, there is the still small voice of the loving Savior saying, Come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. Why not go to the church of your choice this week, and listen to God as he speaks to you, and directs you 